Hello everyone. Welcome to our Wellness Wednesday Live here on Planet Wellness. This is Petrina and, and Ronald. So I hope you're all doing very well today. We are approaching towards winter now, so it's a bit cold outside and we are indoors, keeping warm. Mm, mm. And we've got another treat for you. However, yes. before we start, if you're watching live, please say hello in the comments below and it's hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay. And if you find our video useful, please do tag your friends as well so that they can learn from what we're about to share. Mm. So over to you, Ronald. Boy, have we got a treat for you today. You may, you may be quite surprised about how good this particular vegetable is. So, and, and very few people actually know how to treat the, this vegetable. The vegetable is called beetroot, right? It's pronounced beetroot, right? So it's beetroot, you get it? Beetroot. Now, so what, why the beetroot, why is the beetroot so important? First inclination that you realize it's a very powerful plant, very powerful vegetable, it is the color. It's like a purple red carmine color, what I call carmine, really bright, bright purple, purple red, right? And that tells you straight away that it's something very healthy. I've grown beetroot in the garden before, and there's nothing like a fresh pool beetroot from your own garden. You can, I'll tell you why, because when you grow beetroot in your own garden, you have the leaves with it, and the leaves are also beneficial. But if you go to a supermarket, you probably get beetroot with the leaves cut off, right, and in bundles. And it might be like three days old, four days old, five days old, five weeks old, because they keep in refrigeration. So you're buying something that's really has lost a lot of nutrition. So the first thing I would recommend is that as soon as you can get the garden back into say spring weather next year, put some beetroot seeds, you can get that, into a pot and let it grow. So that'll benefit the view because you'll grow some very healthy, fresh beetroot straight from the garden. Now, I'm going to give you five benefits why the beetroot is so good. Right? Number one, it has been well known from ancient times that beetroot was used for anti-cancer. Anti-cancer, anti-tumor. Right there is one big benefit. That's one. It's excellent for pregnant ladies because it contains folate. Folate, as the name implies, folate is a salt of folic, folic acid, like sulfate is a salt of sulfur. So folate is what you get in beetroot. It's a salt, like a mineral salt of folic acid, which is brilliant for pregnant women or about to be pregnant women, right? Now, and also after the pregnancy, if you keep eating the folate from beetroot, you'll have very healthy milk for the baby. So that's a great addition right there, okay? That's folate. The third thing is is very, very big source of fiber. One cup of beetroot has got five grams of fiber, five grams. Now one apple's got four grams. So beetroot outmatches it by one, five grams of, of fiber. And as you keep hearing me say, you need every human person, unless you're a dwarf, you need 38 grams of fiber per day. So five, one, one beetroot, five grams, two beetroots, 10, you get it? Three beetroots, 15. So the fiber in beetroot is particularly good because it's soft, but it's effective. Right? It's not like bran which can be rough and insoluble. This is soluble fiber, goes a long way towards emptying your bowels of waste that you've got in there. So it's a third benefit. Guess what the fourth benefit is? It makes a fantastic salad addition, or you can make a salad on its own, right? And it's very tasty, right? There's the fifth addition, fifth addition is, it will give you a lot of energy. That red color that you get, the red, what they call it, it's almost red burgundy, right? Especially if you get a healthy one. That color means that it will go to your liver. That's what it means. When you look at your liver, in a diagram and inside the body, it's, it's when it's healthy, it'll be like a very reddish brown color, right? Now, now when you look at that, food, the way it works, 
is that you look at the color of the liver, you look at the color of the food, it matches, that's what you take. Like, for example, walnuts. If you look at the shape of walnut, it looks exactly the same as two brains. Exactly the same. The two brains left and right with a cortex in between, bang, like that. So these, these are the immediate benefits, right? To summarize the benefits, anti-cancer, fiber rich, good for pregnant women, good for energy, good for planting, and good as plant about planting, fresh fruit, okay? Now, when you when you buy the beetroot, if you can go to if you can't grow yourself or cannot or come to the space, go to a farm shop or go to a country shop where they will sell you the beetroot with the leaves on it. Right? Or a farmer's market. Or a farmer's market, that's what I'm talking about. Farmer's market. Now the leaves, uh, you, sh you with the leaves, if you use the leaves, you've got to cut them up into small pieces and you've got to steam them. Or you can stir fry them. But if you, use, if you only can get the beetroot, right, the way you cook the beetroot, there's two ways, there's two ways you can take the beetroot. You can take it steamed. And you know what I mean by steam. is like you've got the bottom pot. You put boiling water in there, boiling water. You boil the water first, always first. And then you have your beetroot whole, or whole, right? And you put it on the top. The reason why you don't cut the beetroot up, because if you cut the beetroot up and you put it on the top, top uh, spot, if you cut it up, the steam gets to it and you will see that red liquid leach right out into the water, right? Now, you can do it that way, but if you do it that way and the water, the, the red color leaches from the actual body or the beetroot and goes in the pot, then you would have to drink the water afterwards, right? So what I find is that the one of the ways you steam it whole, right? And and what you do, you wait till it becomes soft, and then you cut you cut the top off, you cut the bottom off, and you get slices, and then you put that into your dish, and you can add other things to it. My favorite way of doing beetroot is raw, right? Raw. Now raw is all you do is you wash it course because it might have dirt on the outside you wash it you take the leaves off for the, for the moment you take the leaves off you get the beetroot you get a grater you know one of those hand graters is fine and you grate it okay now you can get beetroot that big or that big or this big right now an ideal meal uh, if you have other protein if you have protein with it would be to eat like three apple size apple size beetroots okay three for one person that would give you 15 grams of fiber right there, okay? Now, plus all the benefits, all the vitamins, the minerals, right? It's also got phosphorus in it. Like I said, folate, vitamin C, vitamin A, beta carotene. It's also got substance, I made before, before, that reddish color is always like a beta carotene extraction. Excellent for the macula in the back of the eye, right? I've proven that because I'm 75 last month and no glasses. Do you know how good that feels to be 75 and no glasses? It feels like a million pounds, right? So here's a recipe. Get your beetroot raw, wash the outside, get the grater, grate it like that, right? Don't cut it up into the knife, cut it, just grate it so you have strips of it, grate it. And then what you do is you get a cucumber, right? So you grate the whole beetroot or three or whatever, but start with one. Grate the beetroot, grate it fully like that. That goes into a, your Pyrex or, or salad bowl. Get a cucumber, right, uh, uh, about that big. You leave the skin on, you take the outside, and you grate that as well so you have that lovely, juicy, uh, you know, flesh of the cucumber plus the skin. So the beetroot is in a pot by now, in the Pyrex pot or jar or whatever you call it. Then you put the one cucumber. Guess what you put with it? You get a very sharp knife and you cut a red onion, a small red onion, into very tiny bits, very tiny. And then you get a white onion or a creamy onion and you cut that up as well. So, so far you've got a grated beetroot, a grated cucumber, uh, you get a, a small slices of onion. You can have it larger slices, but, but then it can be, be tough on it because it's got a lot of sulfur in it. But I'd rather keep it very small. You need a very sharp knife for that. And then another day I'll show you the knife we use. It's brilliant, right? So small piece of um, red onion, small piece of white onion. Uh, you put about an inch of ginger, grated ginger, fresh old ginger. It's called fresh, but it's old. You grate that as well. 
you put one teaspoon of sel de Guérande. Right, you heard that before, sel de Guérande, G-U-E-R-A-N-D. You get that on Amazon or, or the internet. And then you put two or three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and one tablespoon of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Right, so what you've got so far, you've got the grated beetroot, the grated um, cucumber, cucumber, the red onion chopped up, the white onion chopped up. But I mean white, you can have a white onion, you can also have like a beige color. Either one of those, you've got that. What else are we putting in? Sel de Garonne, extra virgin olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and a bit of, and we mentioned salt, right? So stir it all up. Make sure the olive oil runs right through it, right? And put that on your plate. That will serve one person. So all you do, if you have two people, you double the dose, or double the amounts, three people and so on. I've heard people rave about that recipe because most people, they'll buy this pickle beetroot, which is in plastic. Believe me, that is not the same as a fresh beetroot grated. It is not the same. Not only that, when you get a fresh beetroot grated, especially from your yard, the taste is absolutely over the moon, right? So I would really advise you to try and grow your beetroot next year. It's not hard to grow. It takes about three months to grow. Uh, for example, a radish will take about six weeks and you get radishes pretty fast. But for beetroot, about, say, three months, two to three months, depending on how good your soil is. Now, so if you want to know more about the recipes of beetroot, I would recommend for a start, if you go into this recipe I've just mentioned, uh, I would recommend if you if you are anemic, or if you're pregnant, or if you want more energy in your life, have that recipe three times a week. For example, on a Monday, Monday evening, Wednesday evening, say Friday evening, or you could do a Tuesday, Thursday. In other words, you eat one night or one day, you, have, you meet the next day, you don't do it, you do something else and then so on. So you have two, you have three days per week. If you want to be super healthy, you can have it four days a week. And it's very filling. Right? Very filling. Now, if you one of the ways you can eat it to make even more benefit, if you get a sea bass, like a good sea bass from a good company like Waitrose, you get a sea bass, that's one slice of sea bass, grill that properly with a bit of olive oil and coconut oil, put that as your base on your plate, and then put your salad of beetroot and onion next to it. And then you take a bite of the sea bass, and then you chew that, and you take a sea bass, a, a, a bite of the beetroot and, and cucumber. You will love it. Your family will love it. Even the kids who are fussy like it because the beetroot is sweet. But it's not the sweetness that, that gives you sugar. It doesn't. It doesn't it, they, they, they can have what are called sugar beets. Like in France, they're designed to create sugar. But the beetroot I'm talking about here is the normal everyday beetroot. Why is the beetroot so effective? Why is it so good? I've grown Swiss chard. I've grown in my garden very successfully. It can even overwinter Swiss chard. I've grown Swiss chard. It looks the same as the beetroot leaves. It's a relative of the Swiss chard. It's a relative of the spinach. If you leave on a Swiss chard, you look exactly the same as a beetroot leaf. They're very similar, except the Swiss chard has got about four or five colors. You have yellow, purple, red, uh, greenish, and almost blue, right? So, Enjoy the recipe. Let us have your feedback. We're always very delighted when you get feedback from, from our recipes. And, our, and and by the way, if you want energy to become fast, especially in winter coming up shortly, if you do it, start eating it now, you'll get the habit to winter and you'll go to winter without any coals. It is that good for you? Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Like I said, we're delighted to get feedback from you because we delight in helping people get healthy. And, uh, and we know we got the proof of the pudding because I haven't had a cold for about 30 years. And that's proof positive right there. And what we say works. And one reminder I'd like to add is, it's quite important, when you eat the beetroot, because mm. it's red or, you know, pinkish, mm. dark red, mm. so your urine or your stools yes. may, may turn that colour as well. Yes. We, we've had customers who've <laughs> rung me up you know they've totally forgotten they've eaten beetroot and they said oh they, they've had blood in their stool and blood in their <laughs> yeah, urine and I, right. I said have you eaten beetroot and they yeah. said yes they have yeah. so j just bear it in mind do not panic if you know you, you yeah. see like your stool or your um, urine your urine absolutely absolutely yeah in fact it's quite correct we've got a friend of ours as a professional gardener uh he's about five doors up from here 
and he, he had not eaten beetroot for years. And I told him about it, and he took the beetroot. Anyway, about two or three days later, he came up with this with this sample in the bottle, and it was all like reddish, right? And I and he said to me, oh, I'm worried. I think I've got blood in my urine. And I said, have you eaten beetroot by any chance? He goes, yeah, two days ago. I said, well, that's what it is. That 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 uh, color is like a dye, right? It goes through you, right? And that gives you an indication how quickly your urine is formed. So I said, not worry about it. Once your 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 actual color is exposed and going out of your body, you won't get it again until you eat beetroot again. And he was, oh, thank God for that <laughs> relief. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's it from us. Yes. Uh, look forward to hearing your feedback and we will see you next Wednesday for another wellness tip. Yeah, plus, plus an additional recipe. All right. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Have a good evening.